uh, Divinely Grateful Risings, Taurus. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right. This is your weekly tarot cast uh, that we've been getting. We've been to see what's going on for the next seven days. But first, y'all, of course, with the sage, Taurus, setting the intention to cleanse, remove, protect, and purify our space, our energy, the cards, our auras, our auric fields of any and all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy, sin intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown, including ourselves. And so it is, Taurus. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, like I said, this is your weekly collective. Y'all know I've started putting these on here, recorded, right? But y'all know I'm still act just like it's live. <laughs> like y'all are still sitting right in front of me. Okay. Let's we're gonna see. We're gonna jump in though, towards with spirit, spirit guys, ancestors, and angels of the highest and purest light vibration and energy and see what y'all got going on this week. Okay. So we'll start off with some general energy, see what the vibe check is for y'all. Then we'll jump into our mini Celtic cross of world. I kind of did my own version, but what? It worked. <laughs> and then um, we're going to end with a success oracle and we're going to see what we can do. I think it's called, oh, look, y'all, that was the new abundance card that came up. Wait a minute, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, mom, Nim, ancestors, Nim, spirit guys, ancestors, tapping in, okay? Hey, y'all, let's see what the overall energy. Oh, y'all. Do y'all want this card? Yes, because, okay, Taurus, look, lost and found. This is so crazy because they gave me 144. Oh, we got to get an angel number. They gave me a message about lost and found. I was talking about that this morning when I came back from the gym. Um, lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found. So, Taurus, y'all may be picking up something this week that you put down before thanks to the lost and found fairy sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost okay so of course y'all lost and found what are you restarting something that you maybe started in the past and stopped you finna find something could be yourself taurus what else for my taurus people eh, cleansing all right cleanse remove protect and purify telling you purity look at the unicorn Okay, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answers to your questions. So they just said some of y'all may be asking, should you remove yourself from a situation? Oh, y'all, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, we got to take it because it's what? Manifestation. Let's go, Taurus. Um, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Some of y'all might be asking, thank you, Spirit, um, if y'all should walk away from someone. And I really feel like it's a good possible. Child, what is Shadow doing over there? I don't know. Child, he was all. <laughs> I don't know what Shadow is doing over there. Y'all, and I'm still distraction. Okay, stay focused. Okay, Taurus, there may be some distractions that are coming at you, especially because you may have let some people go or because you started, oh, okay, because you started, you're starting to receive manifestations. So what I'm getting, and we're going to see what comes up in the cards, I feel like y'all didn't, uh, amazing, like some people did not make the cut, okay, that you may have started doing like some cleansing, removing some people around you um some energies around you and because they just they didn't make the cut and that is actually what's helping to bring manifestations in be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life because look it's happening and it's happening right now and it's happening fast all right Taurus let's see how you're showing up this week all right now write it down on paper y'all better 369 in this thing <laughs> okay Three, six, nine, Manifestation Mapa. If you don't know what that is, holler at me. Book a free consultation, okay? You have to send me your email. Taurus, let's see how you're showing up this week. Come on, Taurus. New beginnings. This is the full, look, told y'all there's going to be a beginning believing protected. So told you. So Taurus, you showing up this week saying, I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm ready for a new start. You cleansed and removed. Some things, some people, some energies from your life that were no longer serving you. And I'm getting like magic that's coming through. This is giving me hermit as well with this lantern. Like you may have had to go on a journey journey of self-discovery 
is what they're giving me as well on this gold card. Let's see what is um, influencing you this week. Taurus, let's go. Ready to take new opportunities. Again, we have this manifestation card. So Taurus, wherever you decided to make some changes and start moving in a different direction, I do feel like it's what? Beneficial. What's influence? Come on, spirit, queen of swords. Listen, y'all. I meant to say this when I first came in. They kept giving me Gemini energy. Like, and I don't even know if I said it before. No, right before I got ready to start, they kept saying Gemini in my head. And I was like, oh, don't let me go in here talking to Taurus like I'm or calling y'all Gemini and then the Queen of Swords come out. So you may be dealing with a Gemini or have a Gemini in your chart. Child, I don't know what Shadow is doing. He ain't even come. Child, listen, brilliant, experienced human, humorous, I'm sorry. So, Taurus, I feel like you're getting very decisive and clear. And look, we just said it ain't nothing to cut up off, okay? Uh, look, so I feel like some of y'all didn't cut some people out, told you. You may have air in your chart, but I feel like you just realized like something wasn't meant for you anymore, okay? This is also you showing up and being brilliant this week. Taurus, okay? Um, show people a different side of you. Show people the dreamier side, the more, the side that's not always, you know, y'all are very, I would say you can be very strict, very stubborn, and your energy is kind of very, mm, like I want it the way, my way, but a highway, but I feel like spirit is calling you to show a different side of yourself. What else do we got, child? Look, What's in the reason for the reading? Told you six of swords ready to move on. Some of y'all asked for help and help is on the way. So the re this is this is showing up saying when you, some of you made a move, you decided to go in a new direction. This could be with a job. Um, some of y'all may have given up hope. And this is where, remember we said lost and found, right? So maybe you're leaving behind somewhere, something, someone that just, May, maybe you got lost inside of someone, inside of a relationship is what they're showing me. And you may have maybe moving away from that. OK, and look at the angel that's on here. You know, y'all know on the Six of Swords, you're always being guided into better times, uh, more prosperity, new beginnings, happiness, leaving the hard times behind. Let's see what's coming up in the recent past. We're going to clarify this, y'all. Come on, Taurus growth and expansion and things look goals expansion and vision so the three of wands y'all is about um it's expansion it's moving forward look at this ship child you went from a canoe to a ship you may be you i feel like some of my tourist people you may have started a journey started off on this journey with a full card by yourself but i feel like now you're caught you're getting ready to have a team surrounding you and also look at the difference y'all you went from having a little canoe and still being willing to go on the journey to now having a ship so this is giving me more abundance by not being afraid to make a journey to make a change um message come on spirit not setting goals as well this is this is you setting out on your goals this is all coming up in the past y'all we're gonna see what's coming up in, on your mind this week okay we're gonna see what we got going on i do feel make sure that you're making a plan because the even though this is the three of wands i am seeing just getting very clear and decisive this week about where you're trying to go okay what's on your mind oh come on devil uh look <laughs> listen so some of you i'm gonna read this a couple of ways y'all know the day the devil energy old attachments so we're not revisiting this this week okay taurus like our ego is not getting involved we're not going back to previous patterns and ways of behavior all right we have already elevated from this um don't because they're showing their arena because of course the devil card can be addictions so be mindful of not going back and reverting back to Mm, old behaviors because look i feel like towards you may have gone through this purity card you may have detoxed or um started exercising fasting so spirit of, did a cleanse whatever this is this purity represents for you cutting people off so be mindful some people ain't gonna want to go okay towards they kicking and screaming child they like no 
ye finna cut me off, Taurus. And Taurus is like, uh -huh, and he is. All right. So just be mindful. This could have been a very codependent relationship for who if for some of y'all. Could have been um with a Gemini Libra Aquarius with this Queen of Swords. Uh, but so look. We ain't got time, Taurus. The devil up here. You may have Capricorn in your chart. Some of y'all may just be thinking about like work, but you are free, baby. You are free. You are not this little caged bird down here. Look at this bird in the cage. You're not that 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 bird anymore. You are free as of, and that's what they're actually showing me. Because look, the door is open. So I feel like some of you definitely removed yourselves from something that maybe was toxic. And if not, you need to do it, child, because we ain't got time for nothing to be blocking manifestation, progress, and success. Okay? We ain't got time. What's the outcome? Let's clarify. Oh, look. Yeah, let's see. Outcome for Taurus. Then we're going to clarify and get some more details. Boom, told you at come on spirit with the eight of wands. Didn't I tell y'all stuff was happening, happening fast, Taurus? So be mindful. The quicker that you can get, because this could be a mindset, y'all. So this more so than talking about someone, this is because it is coming up in the mind. I feel like you're focused on success because the eight of wands is coming up in the outcome. But I do feel like your, your mind, your ego might try to tell you like, no, nah, that's not what's really what that's not really what's happening. You're more successful this week than you are, may give yourself credit for. So just know your mind may try to play tricks on you this week. OK, what's at the bottom of the deck? What we don't see coming but I can't completion the world told you achievements you're farther along than you are giving yourself credit for okay all right let's clarify y'all I'm sorry this wasn't supposed to and we're clarifying with this is another new a new deck y'all we're gonna be using another one too the zodiac zodiac in the intuit oracle zodiac 108 is what we're clarifying with okay so let's see big dreams big dreams what is this new beginning with the fool all about spirit for my taurus what is this new beginning about this week new beginnings but let's see what we got we have the tandem bicycle uh-oh partnership new partners okay thank you for focusing and things synchronized alliance so we have togetherness of new beginnings in love told you you could have disconnected from a toxic gemini all right and now you're calling a gemini libra aquarius should i say not just a gemini because this is a queen of a queen of swords right so you may have disconnected from a toxic person and now moving into uh or a commitment of relationship should i say and now you're actually going to have something more harmonious okay you may be asked to stop Oh, y'all almost dropped all them cards. My goodness. That's because it's a lot of these. <laughs> okay. Um, you might be asked to partner with someone um, this week as well. Collaboration is also going to be important, especially with this eight of wands that came up. And look, first card out, just want y'all to know this is a Taurus card. Can y'all see that? Thank y'all. So this is, don't be afraid. New connections may be coming in this week. Remember, you manifested this. Keep that at the forefront of your mind. All right. Um, some of y'all might look, I'm just saying this. Be mindful of hookups and things. OK, we ain't in Mercury retrograde energy anymore. So mindful of hookups. But I see y'all partnering up with someone this week. OK, Queen of Swords. What do we need to know about brilliant, experienced, humorous Queen of Swords? What do we got? youth mutable breaking free told you come on spear red breaking free told y'all some of y'all are breaking away from an air sign like we already talked about others of you i feel like you're removing certain ideals that maybe you had certain beliefs that may that you may have had um finding yourself remember we talked about oh come on spirit because this is on this youth card it says finding yourself so remember you got lost to get found okay this is and this is a week you may you don't have to explain anything to anyone okay someone may be like expecting you to explain yourself and it's kind of like you don't have to explain yourself or explain your dreams or um what you're trying to do it's what you are doing, okay? Because people ain't are, are not always going to understand. Because remember, we have expansion of a vision. Three of Wands is coming in, so everybody may not see it. 
others of y'all, I feel like this is a fledgling business idea, something very young that you're going to nurture into existence. Some of you said an intention, intention about, okay? Let's see what we are moving away from with this Six of Swords. Moving on, what are we moving away from? Spirit for Taurus. Who indecision, not knowing which which route to go and which direction to take, y'all. I'm gonna try to get these to focus this to focus for y'all, but I don't know if it's oh there it goes. Direction, change, options, free will. I feel like that's what you're moving away from. You have more clarity, okay? Um, and you or you will have as if there may be a decision that you have to make some of y'all you already made this decision remember this is coming up in the reasons for the reading so you may have had to make a decision or you may have to make one this week that is going to require you to move thank you spirit i just heard that some y'all might have to move we got a lot of cards of movement this week taurus three of wands eight of wands six of swords all cards of movement. So y'all may have to relocate. This could be for a job for some of you. Okay. Um, the moment of truth, possibilities, turning point. I feel like a breakthrough is coming. I just, that's the energy that I'm getting, like breakthrough energy. But your mind may, I told you, oh, come on, spirit. Didn't I say your mind might try to play tricks on you? Um, wait a minute. No, don't do that. Didn't I say your mind might try to play tricks on you this week? And this the devil came up in your mind, told y'all, be mindful. Your mind gonna try to tell you, no, don't, don't grow, don't expand, don't move forward. And the devil is a lie, eh, even on Friday. Okay, what's coming up with where this uh expansion? Where are we expanding? Oh, read the fine print, look closer, inspection. So we have fine print that's coming in. So contracts. Some of you may have already signed a contract or you again told you you may be getting ready to sign one. Double check all of your information. Just make sure that you're thorough. You may need another pair of eyes to look at it, especially if this is in work. Like if you're signing a contract, remember we have this tandem bicycle for y'all. Um, just make sure that you are getting a fair end of the deal is what I heard, because maybe what you're, some of y'all you're moving away from, you weren't treated right in a job. And so now that you're upgrading, remember from the canoe to the ship, okay, you may just make sure that you are getting everything that you are deserving of, okay? Deep dive, hidden information, double check, okay, double check. Um, double check your money too, y'all, I will say that. Let's talk about this devil card. Read the fine print in any contracts. I feel like there are multiple connections, like networking is going to be important for y'all this week, Taurus. Don't be afraid to depend or to not depend, but ask other people to expand and get put yourself out there. Okay, that's going to be important for this manifestation that's coming in. Like I just heard word of mouth. So just saying, don't be, uh oh, y'all, wait a minute. Hold on, spirit. Nim, let's see what's on your the devil on your mind. Look, the confusion, some of y'all, this is doubt. Okay, come, they said that earlier and this just confirmed it. So some of y'all, it's doubt. It's almost like you are worried that this is not real or what, come on, 1818, you're not worried that this is real. And we ain't got time for self-sabotage because that's what this is, self-sabotage, Taurus. So you should have, you should be spending enough time with yourself to know like, what some to know how something's real if you don't you need to meditate and get in touch with yourself because look she up here by the water if you're confused and cloudy and unsure go meditate go get by yourself so you can listen to yourself we also have this purity card okay because i do feel y'all could be a little confused and and we don't want to go backwards and others of y'all is kind of like this week things it's momentum that's happening i feel like and as momentum is happening, it's almost that's where the confusion is coming from. Because I don't know, that's how they read. I hope that made sense. Don't get lost in the shuffle either. Like, you don't be afraid to speak up. But there's some rapid, rapid, rapido manifestations that are coming in from a Taurus this week. Let's clarify last card eight of wands. Let's see where, where what's, what's moving fast. Where are we moving fast to? We already know it's manifestation, child. Let's see. Here we go. We have the fish hook. Ah! So some of y'all look, go fishing in. 
prosperity, luck, resourcefulness, abundance. Come on, spirit. This is a beautiful card. Like it already. More air energy. Aquarius coming through. Um, where you were feeling helpless. Oh, I feel like it, I feel like all of that is changing for you this week, Taurus, where you feel like things were not moving forward. Things are now moving forward. Some of you are going to land a really successful job, a new beginning that's going to happen for you. A great catch. Others of you, this may be a relationship that you are um, now going to be. We talked about our new relationships that are coming in. Um, going to bring, I see more resources coming in as well. Be mindful of any tricksters. If y'all have also been dealing with a water sign, could have been a Pisces. Be mindful of like a Pisces coming in. Mm, I don't know. Trying to, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. They just said hook, line, and sinker. I feel like they're going to like, as they see you moving forward or moving away, they may want to try to come in and snag you again, okay? And we just like, wait a minute, huh? <laughs> Hold on. I didn't already read the wood fine print on you. I'm Gucci, okay? <laughs> Let's get y'all a success or to close out the reading for this week, okay? Be mindful of traps. I just heard. Be mindful of traps. I feel like y'all have just found yourselves. That's it uncertainty all of that is in your mind the devil and the devil is in your mind okay because it's not actually an indicator of what's happening i feel just momentum building this week okay towards a manifestation for my taurus people it may not be this week but i feel yeah some of y'all may be putting travel plans in place here we go taurus final word education that is coming in for you you may find some knowledge in a book you may need to take a class or do research, okay, to find a better position. Oh, we talked about that. If you're not getting enough here, this may be a lesson that you have to learn, uh, Taurus. Sorry, I was going to say Taurus. Taurus, if you are not getting what you're worth, because remember, this is the canoe and this is the ship. So if you're not getting what you're worth, make sure that you are looking for someone who's going to compensate compensate you adequately. We talked about that as well. Like make sure you're getting what you're worth. Um, or you may find yourself writing a book or teaching others. Yes, yeah, some of you may be mentored, okay, with this youth card that is coming in for you. All right. So some people, some people younger than you may be coming to you looking for um, answers and information. So don't be afraid to share your wisdom. Okay, Taurus, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. I hope this was helpful. It helps you get through your week successfully. Okay, y'all hydrate your soul and things, drink your water, say your gratitude, have a fantastic week. And I will see y'all next week on Friday. Love y'all in real life. All right, Taurus. Deuces. Okay, get, uh, get grounded so you don't be confused in things. Okay. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye, y'all.